Hi guys, it's me, Jenny. So I am coming at you with a show and tell. <laughs> I'm just trying to think outside the box, right? So really what I have is a tiny, tiny little haul from Tuesday morning and something I got from Wish. So I'm going to show you the Wish one first. I think they are adorable, but look at these. They're little eyeballs with eyelashes, right? But they're huge. Like, honest to God, guys, like if, okay, um, here, I don't know if I can get this out, just to give you an example of what I mean. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's me and my daddy. Oh, I miss him so much. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, that's so crazy. He's been on my mind so much, and it's funny that that's the picture I pulled. Okay, so this is my point. So, this is my, my die cut of my little girl, and I just kind of drew her eyes in. <laughs> Look at the size. Like, it's... It's half of her face. <laughs> so, I mean, not that I thought that they would be that small, but I don't honestly know what I could possibly use these on unless, like, I did a drawing of my big fat head <laughs> and I put the eyes on that. But um, they said that they were medium. I would hate to see what the large is. The large must be like that. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah. So that's going to be some great Happy Mail and maybe somebody who is extremely crafty will get them or some and um, be able to do something with it. Or if any of you guys know what I could do with it, please let me know because I would love to know. Okay, so now that's it. That's the only thing I had from Wish. So let's get into the Tuesday morning one. So, okay, the first thing that I got is this and it's 12 sheets of glitter paper. And guys, I paid $2.99 for this. It's insane. And I love it. So there's two of each color. So there, and what I loved is the silver. So there's like a real bright silver and like a more dull silver. I don't know if you can even tell. Well, yeah, you can tell a little bit, but I love silver. So I was so excited. Now I did use a piece of the silver. So there's only one left of this one. So let's just go through the colors real quick. So you've got like a gray, I'll say, and then this beautiful fuchsia, beautiful green, black, gold, and silver. So I used a piece and I made sunglasses. <laughs> so don't, don't laugh at me. <laughs> but look at how cute these are. So what I did was, you see where it's like all glossy where it would be if they were actual sunglasses? So I used the silver paper and I cut out my, my glass, used my glass die, and it cuts really well. The only thing is, is because it's like a, it's not thick, thick, but they have this like plastic, I don't know what to call it, but this like backing on it. Um, so it's a little tough, but it, it cut out fine. I had no issues. So I cut one out in my silver paper, one out in black, and I put the black behind this. And then I just put glossy accents just on the black part to make it look like sunglasses. I think that they came out so super cute. So I'm going to use it on something. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm sure I'll find something. Maybe on one of my composition books I think would look cool. So yeah, so I used the paper so I could cut it out and see how it works. It works perfect. So absolutely love this. I think it was a great deal. And then I only bought a, other, a couple of other things from there. So, and they were three dies and a paper pad. So the first die, Chrysanta, if you're watching, oh God, girl, I think I found us a thank you die. If you haven't found one yet, let me know. I just got this yesterday. They had a few. So if you, if you still need one or want one, let me know. I will run tomorrow and go pick it up because it is phenomenal. So it's a thank you. And just so you guys know, I bought us, me and Crisanta, a thank you die. And our, they were awful. Oh, my God, guys. She tried every which way to get hers to work. I tried every which way to get mine to work. They would get stuck in the die. It, it was it was just awful. But, and it wasn't us. It was both the dies. Like, her die was awful. My die was awful. So... I don't know what she did with hers, but I just ditched mine because you couldn't use it. <laughs> so I think I, well, I know I found one for me. So if you like this, let me know and I will go get you one. So this is what the die looks like and look at how it cuts out. OMG guys, it's amazing. So this is the die. Is that not beautiful? And it doesn't get stuck in the die. It actually, the die comes right out and it stays in the paper. You have to actually pull it out of the paper and it's very, very easy. So that's the thank you die. Love it. So, Crisanta, let me know. And if you um, 
if you still need one or want one, I will definitely go back and get it for you because I love this. So there's that one, the thank you die, loving it. Now the second die I got, oh, I, I forgot to tell you, sorry. And this was only $4.99. Now, and I know these dies are really, really exp uh, expensive. It's Crafter's Companion. So for, oh, okay, $9.99. So I got for half off, $10 for this die. It's nuts, but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I paid $4.99, love it. Would pay $4.99 again in a heartbeat. Then I got this massive die for $4.99 and it's nine cutting dies. Now I don't have, um, oh, I don't have any die that has this, um, what do you call it, scallop um, edging on uh, nothing, uh, circles, ovals, nothing. So this is my first scallop die ever and I love it. Oh my God, guys. And then you get nine of them and these are the sizes in the back and they cut beautifully. Now I cut out a huge amount <laughs> in gray and pink because I'm going to do a project with them hopefully if it comes out okay so yeah these are the way it cuts they cut beautifully i had absolutely no issue with them like this is a um, i think this is 110 card 110 pound card stock and i think this is 65 and either or they cut absolutely amazing so that's that the biggest one and then here are you know the next sizes i think this one's the this one is the smallest one this one right here and I love it then I also cut them out so like there's no middle if you just wanted to do the edge or if you wanted to do it where like um you know the inside is gray and the outside is pink you could do it that way they don't fit I'm just trying to show you or vice versa you could do you know the outside gray and then the inside pink and it or whatever colors you wanted to do but I wanted to show you how it cuts out like this too so you could do either or and again I love them guys they are fantastic um, and a great deal five, you get nine dies for five dollars and you can do anything you want with them so this was an awesome awesome find and then, then the next and last I got guys, I felt like I hit the lottery when I got this. I was so excited. Now, most of you know, I love bows. OMG. I mean, if I just had bow dies, I would be happy. So I found this one. There are five dies in it. So you get this circle. I call it like a rosette because I don't know how else to explain it. And then this long piece, which is the, like the, the bumps for the bow. <laughs> and then this piece here, which is like the tag part, the little round circle you could put in the middle. And then you get a hooray tag. $4.99, guys. And then look at this. This is incredible. This is the bow. And it's huge. This is the biggest, the biggest bow I have. Uh, it's close. This is the biggest solid bow that I have, I should say. So again, this is like that, that long piece here. This piece is here. Okay. And then this down here is this piece. This little circle is what you stick in the middle so you don't have like that awkward <laughs> middle part. And then, oh my God, guys. And then this is the, this is the hooray banner. So you can do it like that. Or if you look here, the you can just use the words or the letters. So if you want to do the letters, you can just, you know, put hooray. And this is the, the circle scal um, rosette thing is what I call it because of these... <laughs> the edging on this. Again, I have nothing that has any kind of edging on them. So I definitely got to work on that because these are gorgeous and they're great for cards. So what I did was I took, um, the hooray sign and I just put like a beige paper underneath it just for something to show you guys. Um, and then I, I taped that together and then taped it on here so that I can decorate this and do it up and it could become an embellishment and it would be really, really cute. Um, or you can even stick like not the hooray, but you can put the bow on the back of that so it has a backing you can do it in the middle the, like however you want to do it but what I love is that you can do it with um, no letters and just have the background like I did for this one or you can just take the letters and on a solid color or however you want to do it you can just put the letters to write you know what I mean that would be really cute or you can do it right down down the thing now I had to show you this guys because Oh my God. I'm just so in love. So first of all, this is like a regular size card base. I don't know what they call it. An A6 or something. I have no idea, but look at the size of that. Like, so if you, Oh, actually they show you, sorry, I got a little excited. They actually show you on the back of this die, how you can use it and look. So you can do something like that where this is the focal point. The bow is the focal point like this. 
of your card and then you can do like a banner here and you can have a background but even just with the craft paper and this paper I love I think it's beautiful so you can put your bow here and you can do hooray you don't even have to use anything on the background you can use just the sorry just the um, the card if you wanted to so I think it's absolutely gorgeous so now you know me I need to have bling somewhere in my projects <laughs> so I wanted to show you real quick you can do a small now this isn't small small it's actually a bigger pearl but you could do a pearl in the middle and I would definitely put something even though that that circles there I would still use something in the middle because that's just how I am um, but this one guys is what I'm gonna put on here when on this video is over but I want to just give you the choice would you look at how absolutely gorgeous that looks I think it looks gorgeous you guys don't have to agree with me but I think it looks absolutely beautiful and this piece is huge so yeah I mean I'm definitely gonna put that on there um, when the video is over and I'll definitely use it for a card but I wanted to show you because I think this die is phenomenal and not only is it phenomenal it was $4.99 and you get all these pieces and it makes this beautiful set right here so again I got three dies and a paper pad so I'm going to show you the paper pad next um, and that's the last thing I have Oh my God, guys, this is just so beautiful. Wait till you see this. And I apologize about the angle, but I wanted to be able to get the paper pad in so that you can see the paper because it is just beautiful. Oh, and speaking of paper, guys, OMG. First of all, I'm sure all of you love Prima. I love Prima. I obsess over Prima. Prima and Gorgeous Girls are like my two number one and two things. <laughs> But they have a new paper or a new collection that's called Havana. And it is a pink and I want to say like maybe turquoise or bluish green. I don't know. But it is absolutely the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life. My issue is, is I can't afford it. And when I do, like I'll save up to get it. But then when I finally do save up, it's either gone out of stock. They don't know when they'll get it back or it's been so long that they don't know what I'm talking about or <laughs> nobody can find it. So even though I can't get it, guys, if you can get your hands on it, I'm telling you, go buy it. You will love it. Again, it's called Havana from Prima and it is the most amazing collection I have seen in a really, really, really long time. I mean, I would die to have a collection, but that will never happen. So if I can get a paper pad, that would be amazing. But, you know, I'll save up. If I can, I can. If I can, I can't. Um, hopefully by the time I'm done saving, they will know what it is and we'll still have it. <laughs> so now back to this. For, and you know, it's so funny. I'm just realizing this. Everything I purchased was $4.99. So even though I put myself in a little tiny bit of trouble because I probably had no business buying any of this stuff. Not probably. I had no business buying any of this stuff, especially this month. But to walk out of that store, it was $24, it was 20 something. To not get what I got, I, I would have kicked myself in my rear end over and over and over again because the things that I got for the little amount of money was insane. And again, I, I, you know, I'm justifying it that I would have been an idiot not to. So we're just going to go with that. <laughs> so this is the beautiful paper pad I found. I saw somebody haul this a while ago, and I just remember falling in love with it and thinking, you know, I'll never find it in my stores, And but I did, and I found it for four. It's originally $19.99, and I got it for $4.99, guys, and it's called the Butterfly Garden Stack, and it is from DCWV. So let's take a look at it because it is stunning, um, and this paper that I used for the bow came, sorry that my thing's all wobbly wiggly, it came from this pad, so they have a pink one. And then the peach. I use the peach, and I don't know if you can tell, but so this is the peach, and that's the pink. This looks dirty, and this looks pink. So this is the peach, and that's the pink. <laughs> and you get two of each um, paper. But the crazy thing is, the very first page that I'll show you only has whoops, only has one piece of that paper. Of course, because it's my favorite one. But I just thought that was so weird. So maybe somebody took it. I don't know. I mean, they had the sicker things on them. So maybe that's why it was just for it. I have no idea, but I don't care. I love it. So there's this one. Absolutely stunning. 
Look at this, how pretty. Is it not gorgeous? Oh, and back to the Havana thing. It is so shabby chic, so beautiful, so girly, romantic, stunning. Like, I cannot say enough amazing things about that collection. Havana, guys, I'm telling you, if you can and you can afford it, go get your hands on it because it is gorgeous. Okay, so back to this. So we have this one. And look at, and it has like gold foiling throughout some of them, not the whole thing, but some of them. So it's absolutely just so pretty. And then you've got this one and this one. And look at this. So there's the top part. And then look, then you have it again on the bottom. It's just so, so, so pretty. And you have your greens, another green. And they have a really pretty, oh, here's the yellow one. That's like the peach and the pink. Um, this one's really pretty too, again with the gold foil. Oh, sorry guys, my hand. <laughs> um, another green. And look at this, is that not gorgeous? It's not every single paper, but it's, it's, it's just really pretty. I love when they do this and I love making tags out of these. I think they're so, so pretty. Um, so there's two of those and then this one, and this is the one that I used and chopped up to use the bow and all the other stuff. And look at this. How pretty is that? It's like a, not like a dull yellow, but it's like a dull yellow. <laughs> you don't know how else to explain it, but it's really pretty. I love this one too. I love them all. I mean, I, all of this is so, so super pretty. You got your music notes. You've got the black with the gold. And then look at this, guys. Is that not gorgeous? Look, it's got the flowers on the end here. Again, with the gold. See that gold? Oh stunning and then look at this up here so so pretty and then you got the music throughout it and oh I just love it and then this is like the pink one in the back and then you have this one and then look at this oh maybe this one oh okay never mind I lied it does have two <laughs> I guess it must have been stuck together because I only saw one. Oh my god that is so funny Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. So, yes, this is one of my favorite sheets in here. <laughs> and I have two, not one. I'm so excited. So, yeah, isn't that pretty, guys? Oh, my God, I love it. So, yeah, Tuesday morning, like I said, 20, I'll say 25 just to be on the safe side, but I don't think it was that much. And I got three dies, three amazing dies, not just three dies, but three amazing dies. And I got the glitter paper pack. So, Crisanta, if you're watching, let me know as soon as you can, and I will run out, I'll run back and um, grab you a thank you one. I wasn't sure if you had one, and I was going to try to PM you, but I, it just got too crazy, and I couldn't, and then I was in the store, and I was in prob problems with my phone, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, so I hope you guys like what I have to share. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to honestly, instead of making these videos where I'm just showing you things, like... I can't wait to start making things. And now that I'm getting a little caught up, I have some cards that I have to make. So once I make them and send them out and the recipients receive it, receive it. Oh my God, I cannot speak. <laughs> I will share them and then some other things that I want to start working on. So yeah, hopefully this month will be um, of me creating and not me just showing you what I bought. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be on a no buy for quite a while, <laughs> so there won't be any more hauls, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I, again, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see, if there's something that I can make for you or show you how to do or something like that, I would be so happy to do that. So yeah, let me know. And I hope you guys are all having a great week so far and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you. Bye.